Okay, hi, and uh, we have another product to review. It's a mirror dash cam by a company called Autovox. And uh, yeah, we thought this looked quite interesting. Essentially, what you have, I can pop it out, is a dash cam built into a mirror. So this is going to clip onto an actual rear view mirror. This has got a full nine inch touch screen built in so that should be much nicer to use than the fiddly screens on a normal dash cam. Um, and uh, yeah, um, there's the camera. That will look straightforward. Now it's not just this though. It also comes with a rear view camera, which is here. That can be mounted internally or externally. And of course it functions as a twin dash cam now, um, but also a reversing camera. So that could be quite nice for an older car that doesn't have reversing cameras. Um, with this, you would have. So um, yeah, it comes with all these, of course. We've got uh, a long cable, two different rear camera mounts, power cables, um, straps for the mirror, everything we need. So I'm gonna quickly get this set up and uh, be back with you in a moment. Okay, so we've set it up quickly. Uh, all we gotta do now is plug it in and it should turn on for the first time. Let's have a quick look. And there it is. So it starts off in rear camera view as you'd expect, and it starts recording just like any other dash cam. Um, but you can just touch the screen and get into all the menus, adjust any of the settings you need to. Uh, it's got quite a nice big menu system. Stop recording before I do that. So I'll stop recording. And now I can enter the menu. And instead of having a fiddly screen, you've now got a nice big screen where you can look at all the settings. We'll have a quick talk about the details of this later. But um, yeah, that's how the menu works. Also on the screen, you've got buttons to quickly turn off the microphone, switch camera views, which is quite neat. So that's both views, front and rear at once. Um, we've also got just the front if you want to check the setup uh, or normally you'd want the rear view because of course this is functioning as the actual mirror uh, in the car now. You can also take a still picture if you need to or you can lock it. There's a brightness adjustment at the top and um, yeah you just go and drive now that's the normal thing you'd use it for. Uh, for just for a couple of specs um, so it's got a nine inch touchscreen uh, mirror. Um, the, the actual camera is built into the side here and that can slide outwards to get a better view or to go around the mirror actually behind. Um, the rear camera I'll show you in a second. Um, but both cameras are 1080p resolution which is perfectly fine um, for dash cams. Um, I'm using a 64 gigabyte card, um, a micro SD, and that should give around eight to nine hours on 1080p for both front and rear. You can reduce the resolution to get longer record time but then it won't be as clear so I'm happy with that. Like any other normal dash cam, as soon as we start the car the unit boots up automatically and starts recording both cameras onto the single memory card in the main unit. There is a red light to confirm everything is recording correctly. The screen is very bright and gives a great view behind the car. The rear camera gives a much wider view than a normal mirror, but this is a good thing as it reduces the blind spots behind the car. Following traffic does look smaller than normal, but we got used to it quite quickly. Of course, since we are now watching a direct feed from the rear camera, it doesn't matter if we have passengers in the rear of the car or a boot full of luggage. Nothing will block our rear view, unlike with a normal mirror. The rear camera is waterproof, so it can be mounted inside or outside the car. To make the wiring easier, we chose to mount it inside the car at the top of the rear window. This car already has a rear view camera, but if we were fitting this to a car that hasn't got one, we might mount it outside near the registration plate to give a better view close behind the car. The rear camera can even be wired to the car's reversing light, so that when reverse is selected, the unit will automatically show reversing guidelines. 
A GPS receiver is supplied in the box and this will record the position and speed of the car as you drive. Unusually, it doesn't record anything onto the actual video, but instead Autovox supplies software so the GPS data can be viewed on a computer. If you choose to wire the camera into a permanent power feed, then the unit has the option to switch on a parking mode. This will keep the camera's recording after you leave the car in case anyone causes any damage. The camera has an internal backup power reserve to allow the last recording to be saved in the event of an accident. Most cheaper cameras use a small battery for this, but instead this unit has a supercapacitor, which is more resistant to overheating and should have a longer life. Let's take a look at some footage that the camera has recorded with its cameras. The first clip from the front camera is shot in strong sunlight and it is OK quality. The unit has Sony image sensors in both cameras and uses glass lenses. Of course, it can't compare with the output from a GoPro or other proper camera, but as a dash cam it is fine. It would certainly be good enough to show who was to blame in the event of an accident. Switching to the rear camera shows that the image is very similar. Some dual dash cams use a lower resolution for the rear camera, but this also records in 1080p, the same as the front camera. Perhaps we should have angled the camera a little higher, but this would be easy to adjust after fitting. Next we went for a drive in the early evening. The setting sun is more of a challenge for the cameras, but we are still happy enough with the results. Here is how the rear camera looks. Finally, we went for a night drive to really test the system out. The auto brightness setting on the monitor works well and we didn't need to adjust anything manually. We could see following traffic, but since it was through a monitor rather than a mirror, it wasn't blinding at all and we didn't need to dip the mirror. Switching to the camera recordings once more, the footage is still clear despite the very low light levels. The camera deals with other car lights and doesn't overexpose the image. Here is the rear camera once more. There are a few extra benefits for us as driving instructors. When driving, since the rear view is being shown on a monitor rather than a mirror, it can be seen equally well by the passenger and the driver, so we don't need to use an extra mirror anymore. This cuts down the clutter on the windscreen, especially as there is no need for a separate dash cam as well. Much neater. We found that the best position for the unit was to angle it parallel to the windscreen and down a little, as it reduced any extra reflections from the car's windows. Of course, the unit's position doesn't need to be adjusted for each driver as a mirror normally would, so that's a small benefit as well. If we need to replay a clip during the lesson, it is easy to do with the large touchscreen, and it even has sound playback too. To conclude, this unit is two devices in one, an electric rear view system and a twin dash cam. Both work very well, considering the very reasonable cost of the unit. The installation is neat and easy to do, and the unit's monitor is large, clear and has good brightness. The wide angle view does make following traffic look smaller than normal, but it didn't take long to get used to. We rarely have rear seat passengers or much luggage in this car, but if we did, it wouldn't affect our rear view at all, unlike with a normal rear view mirror. We did notice that we needed to use the rear wash wipe more often than normal to keep our view clear, as any dirt on the screen was quite noticeable. However, since this would ensure that the rear camera's recordings were as clear as possible, this isn't a problem. The actual recordings from both cameras were good quality, and we will probably install the unit into this car permanently to replace the existing dash cam. 
If you are interested in buying this unit yourself, we have placed a link to the unit on Amazon in the video description below. And we have arranged a 15% discount code for you to use. If you found this video interesting and would like to be notified when we release the next one, then please consider subscribing to our channel. If you would like to help us make new videos, then please consider becoming a member of our channel. Thanks for watching.